Reporter still down there? Uh, yeah. Right, take care of it. They're a bunch of jerks. Uh, Ned's waiting. Okay. You okay with that? I will be. I could stick around. I really appreciate what you've done. Sure, you know. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, Miss Davis. Carly wants her earrings back. You're kidding, right? No, unfortunately I'm not. Hearts may be broken. Family's devastated. But diamonds are diamonds. And Carly wants them back. They're kind of interesting to her. I'm sure they are. Can you hold that for me? Sure. You know, the thing you gotta love about Carly is she just keeps it all so simple. Sometimes. Tell her thanks. A lot. I will. Didn't expect you back so soon. I had a choice of the Saskatchewan one or Jake. I ran into Roy. I don't suppose run that's the right verb to use at the moment. So why'd you do it? Why did you run away? Was it the media? The church? Helena. I was calm most of the day because I just kept thinking of you. But that aisle, you know, I, I, I've always been very concerned about that aisle. The aisle. If I could have just gotten to the end of it where you were waiting for me, I would have been okay. But I, I couldn't. And I want to be able to tell you why, but I can't. I don't know if it was your family or my family or everyone's expectations of me or am I walking away from my life into everybody else's? I, I don't know why I couldn't do it. But I couldn't do it, and I don't expect you to understand. You see, I really don't see it as that complicated. Um, the woman I love swears she loves me back. I believe her. Plans are made. Promises are made and then she runs away <laughs> and you know you aren't the first one you aren't even the second or the third but you are the only one who actually never even made it to the altar so congratulations I wanted to marry you. Alexis, just tell me the truth. I wanted to want to marry you. No. I'll tell you what the truth is. The truth is, you didn't want to marry me from the start. You just wouldn't tell me. And I wouldn't see. In Belize. The justice of the peace was standing right there, but what did you say? The mood was broken. 
I asked you any number of times to elope with me, and you always said no. I asked you if you wanted to skip this big wedding. You always said no. You always said no, and I couldn't hear it. I want, I want to be with you. Okay, so this is what I'm going to ask you, okay? If there were no aisle, if there was no big wedding, if there was no family or friends, and we just skipped town and went off to Borneo, Hawaii, wherever, would you have the nerve? Would you marry me then? Alexis. <laughs> Why didn't you just tell me how scared you really are? Why didn't you give me a chance to help you? I would have taken your hand. We could have run out of that church, flagged on a semi, and just left them all wondering. And we'd be together right now. I ran after you. And you didn't stop. I want you to believe me when I tell you that I love you. <gasps> I don't want to hear you say that again because... It doesn't matter. <laughs> Obviously, I'm a threat to your independence. And that is a hell of a lot more important than your love for me. And I understand. I completely understand. There's obviously no room in your life for me. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. So just let it go. We gave it our best shot. It's actually funny when I, when I think about it, actually. A five-time loser being stood up at the altar. Please don't say that. But give us a little time. We'll think of something witty to say. Something sophisticated, dry, urbane. Maybe we'll even go out and have a laugh, a martini. But we'll definitely be going home alone. We won't be spending the night together. Because it's 